for us, uh, you know, taking in investment dollars uh, with a high tech company uh, is critically important. Sandeep Benot is talking about the state's angel investor tax credit program, one of two key financial tools for startups in New Jersey. It offers tax credits for businesses that invest in New Jersey's tech and life sciences companies like Benot's Radius 8, a tech company that helps retailers increase their sales. We use the context of a consumer location to drive more in-store traffic and online sales for retailers. Uh, we're at the point where we're ready to scale our business, so we could do that organically, meaning we can grow over time or we can grow in a shorter period of time with investors' money. Technology um, has continues to be a source of job creation and job growth across the country and in New Jersey, so it's a really important part of our economy. But we, we haven't seen are enough young, small companies growing and scaling into big uh, large employing companies. The Angel Investor Program's been in place since 2013, but last year Governor Murphy and the legislature doubled the tax credits an investor can receive from 10 to 20 percent, meaning if you invest $100,000, you immediately get 20000 back. It goes to 25 percent if the company that you're investing in uh, is founded by a woman uh, or a, a person of color or is located in an opportunity zone, which is an, an important program that Senator Booker uh, championed at the federal level. An opportunity zone means the business is located in a low-income, urban or rural community. Sullivan thinks the state will distribute the entire $25 million budgeted for the ANGEL program this year, but New Jersey companies like Radius 8 can get even more financial support on top of the ANGEL investment through the Net Operating Loss Program. I can go to a bank and say, hey bank, give me $200,000 as a loan, or I can go to investors and say, hey, investors, invest $5 million in my company. For either one of those scenarios, I'm giving up something for that money. In the case of an NOL, I'm saying, hey, New Jersey, I've got these net operating losses. I would like to sell them uh, so that I can get a no strings attached sort of infusion of capital. It's a phenomenal way of getting money into the organization without sort of giving up equity or incurring additional debt. And for the companies that buy the losses, it's a tax write-off. But in a state where corporate tax incentives have been a political football, with Governor Murphy highly critical of their effectiveness, Sullivan explains why he believes this program has the support of both the governor and the legislature. Well, for one thing, I think it's a much more targeted program than some of the other uh, tax incentive programs. You know, the, under the, the, the now expired um, GROW and ERG programs, those were some of the most generous tax credit programs in the country and some of the least targeted. We're talking about investments here that are $100,000, $200,000, and if those turn help turn small companies into big companies, it can have a huge impact. As for Radius 8, Benot says he plans to use the angel investor capital to hire more employees and grow the customer base. In Princeton, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJTV News.